How the Austin City Council conducts business outside of council meetings is now at the center of an investigation. A potential candidate for council filed a complaint with the Travis County attorney claiming the council violates the Texas Opens Meeting Act. KXA and City reporter Reagan Hackleman joins us live from City Hall to explain what exactly the council members are doing that started this whole investigation. Reagan? Well, Leslie, this Thursday there's an Austin City Council meeting, and for the most part, most of the council members already know how each other will vote during that meeting. That's because they've all met individually this week and last week in what's known as one-on-one -on -one meetings with each other, and that is what the Travis County District Attorney, I'm sorry, the Travis County Attorney is looking into. Now, this all came about after a man named Brian Rogers met with the City Council member. At the time, Rogers says he was thinking about running for a spot on the City Council and wanted to know what it was like. He asked council member Chris Riley how they communicate with each other. That's when Roger says Riley told him about the one on one meetings and he also told him that they pretty much already know how each other is going to vote. Now, this is not really a secret here at City Hall. In fact, one of the council members puts the one on one meetings on her public calendar available to anyone online. But Roger thinks these meetings are a slap in the face to those who sometimes wait hours to talk to the council during those Thursday meetings. And I go down on Thursdays to, to pour out all my efforts, only to find out that it was a giant waste of time. They made their decision before they even came in the door. Now, none of the council members would comment on this story. However, the mayor did release this statement to us. That statement says we've been advised by the city attorney that these meetings, that these individual meetings between council members do not violate the Open Meetings Act, but they will cooperate fully with the county attorney's review. No word on when that review will be done. Reporting live from City Hall, Reagan Hackleman, KXA and Austin News.